Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to talk about a problem in Filament and in Laravel in general of the same named classes in multiple namespaces. One of the best examples is actions. The word action means so many things in Filament and in general in development that you can use wrong class then get an error and wouldn't understand what you did wrong. So for example, if you want to add an action to a table, so you have actions array already, and you want to add a new button to do something. So for example, you have a customer list here and you want to add more links and buttons. Action make is the syntax. And then if your IDE like PHP Storm auto completes that for you, you go wait, which action class should I take? Some of them come from Filament, some of them come from Laravel or even some packages. So typical case in Filament, you need to add the class closest to the feature that you use. For example, we are in a table, so there's Filament tables action, but there's also info list action, forms action, and other deprecated classes. But in this case, we go for tables and not for the general class that is suggested automatically by PHP Storm. Or actually, let's try to do that and see what happens. So you go action make, PHP Storm auto completes that for you. You go action make something and you expect a button called something that does something. For now, it does nothing. And then you refresh the page and you get an error. Action table does not exist. And often these error messages are not that clear to understand. I mean, it's an English language. You can read that. But what to do with that? The suggestion on the right side isn't helpful either. So you wouldn't understand that you used wrong class. The correct class is actually, if we go back and do action again, is table make and then something. And then if we refresh, we will have a link of something that does nothing, but that's not the point. It works. It is shown. Now, how to know generally which class to use? Of course, if you use the wrong class and get an error, try use another class. That's like a general thing. But for example, when reading the documentation, let's try to search for action make, and there are multiple suggestions here. And then you go, what you're working with? Is it a form? Is it a table? Is it info list? Is it something else? In our case, it's a table. So you should read about table actions. And then you go to the example of that table actions, which is raw action in our case. And in most cases, the documentation would add a use statement on top alongside the code snippet example. For example, action make URL, whatever. And then it adds this on top, use filament tables action specifically. So the overall point and the overall advice is, of course, there's no universal advice because every case is different for every class with the same names, but generally good documentation examples, Filament and Laravel include use statements on top. So if you copy paste the example or just retype it in your IDE, don't forget to also add these on top. So yeah, kind of a quick tip, but I guess helpful and practical in many cases, especially in Filament that has quite a lot of classes with repeating names and you need to choose the right namespace. If you want more tips like this one, practical tips, subscribe to the channel. It's still going daily. And if you want to support my mission of shooting these videos and also writing articles, you can go to filamentexamples.com where we have a lot of practical full project examples with Filament where you can dig in yourself and find many more tips than on this channel. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.